Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today you see by the title what we'll be making. I cannot wait guys to share this with you guys because it's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite recipes of all time. I love steak and potatoes. But before we get into any of that, please, please, please do not forget to subscribe down below and hit that bell. Do not let me down guys. I'm going to be giving you content. I think I've been doing pretty good. At least one, one video a week. I should be doing way better than that. But you know, we're getting, we're going to get better. thing you do before you bring off the steaks or anything else you're going to be cooking with it you're going to start those potatoes so i think in many videos i've already showed you that i peel the potatoes from scratch you know none of that box stuff you know real chef out here but anyway <laughs> um to so i gotta start the potatoes so first i think i've told you guys in one of these videos one of my favorite utensils in the kitchen you're gonna need potato peeler or a knife you know my favorite chef knife i'm gonna use that today you're gonna need your cutting board some rusted potatoes and a pot of course and you're gonna need water but let me go ahead and peel the potatoes and then we're gonna get it all started something small like this so it'll boil faster so I'm gonna put them in the in the pot all right they're in here so now what I'm gonna do is rinse them off all right guys now what I did was I rinsed the potatoes off about three or four times and then I cover them I covered them with water so now what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of salt in here and I'm gonna turn it on the pot on the stove and let it boil put it in the pan I mean, in the pot oh turn the eye on let us do its thing now I like to cook I like to start my steak when it's halfway, the potatoes are halfway done. So I'll give it about, let's say like 15, 10 to 15 minutes, let it cook, clean up all the stuff I've used, like wash all my utensils I've already used. And then by that time I should be able to wash the steak, season it, get it, get it ready for its turn to go get cooked. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, now since we got the potatoes cooking, what we're gonna do is take our lovely steak and we're gonna wash it off. So first, I like to turn on the water before I actually uh, cut the meat off the package so I don't have to keep touching the faucet and all that good stuff. So um, what I, now what I'm gonna do is turn on the cold water, guys. And as you can see, I'm just, Cutting it off the packet. Rinse it off. Cold water, guys. Cold water. I like to flip it back and forth. Make sure all that blood and all that goofy stuff is off of there. All right, now we got a clean steak. I'm gonna put it in there. And what I like to do with the package before I actually throw it away, I like to rinse it out. Rinse it out. I'm not gonna go throw it away and 
um, change my change my gloves out, wash my hands, change my gloves out, and I'll be back to show you how to season it. So here's the seasonings I'm going to be using to season my steak. You know my favorites, guys. Now, the, like I was saying in the review for the prima donna seasoning, the Greek seasoning, you put that on them steaks, baby. I swear to God, it tastes so, so good, guys. I have a couple more tricks up my sleeve, so just stay tuned. All right, guys, now that we have our steak all washed, I put it in a little bowl, I guess you can call it. So it's time to season. So I put all the seasoning on one side so you know my you know my technique by now guys rub it in rub it in you want that seasoning you want to taste the flavor of everything that you put on here so now we're gonna do the other side same thing season you see the technique guys I'm using now this hand my right hand, I've, I've used it to rub the meat in so I'm not touching the seasoning bottles with it. I'm using my left hand to season. I'm right-handed so it's a little hard, but that way you won't contaminate the bottles. So, like I'm doing now, just rubbing that seasoning in. Just rubbing it in. I like to take the excess seasoning from the bowl and get the edges of that steak so like i said i want my steak to taste like something all right we're done now let's move on to the next step gonna... all right guys how you know those potatoes are actually cooking it'll do this now when you want to know when they're halfway done and you can't tell you're not a chef like yours truly but you will be when you're done watching this video um, you can stick a fork in it. Stick a fork in it. You see how hard it is. You see how soft it is. If it's done. If it's almost done, you know, get the temperature of it, you know. So, like I said, we're just going to let it cook. Let it just do its thing. But this is this, this is what you want to see, guys. You want to see it doing this. All right, guys, I have a surprise for you guys. Now, although I said I was just making steak and potatoes, we're going to add some lobster tails in there, too. I know everybody I know personally on Facebook, every social media account is always talking about those crab boils, the seafood fiesta, all that good stuff that she, whatever you want to call it at this moment in time. But today, I'm going to add some lobster tails in there for you. So... First thing I like to do, get that cold water running, guys. Get that cold water. Here's the lobster tail. Rinse these bad boys off. Rinse them off. I got two. I love lobster tail, guys. I, I'm a seafood lover. So you're going to see some seafood on this channel. We just started off with the lobster tail. So now, use my other hand. Cut the water off. You're gonna get, you need some kitchen scissors, guys. If you don't have any kitchen scissors, I recommend you go get them. So I'm putting the scissors inside of the shell and I'm cutting. I'm just, it's just not all the way down, just about halfway. You can't be afraid to put your hand in these lobsters, guys. Now with seafood, I really don't, I'm, I really don't mind getting my hands dirty. So what you're doing is just pulling it out. You're pulling that meat out, guys. Now you see that access. You can either cut it out or just to make it look pretty, you can cut it out or you can leave it. And this, in this case, for you guys, I'm gonna cut it out. Cut that access off. Kitchen scissors are important. You can do a lot with kitchen scissors. 
All right, so I've cut the access off. You can even cut the access. You cut the access meat off, but you see this, the shell looks kind of tacky looking. Just pull that meat out. You see how I got that, guys? Nice and simple. Now let's do it again. We've already rinsed it off. Take the scissors, put it right in the middle. Just cut down the middle about halfway. Nothing too fancy, nothing too, nothing too hard. Stick your finger in the bottom of here. Put it all the way through. Now, the reason I don't have on gloves, like I said, I don't mind getting my hands dirty with seafood, but it's kind of hard to stick your hand in here with the gloves on, so I always just get down and dirty. All right, you see y'all, we got the meat out. How you want it to look fancy on that video for you guys? I mean, you posting it on your social media platforms. See that? You see all that access? We're gonna cut that off. You want it to look cute. That's my big thing. I like stuff to look cute for that picture. And for all the all the my latest videos, pictures of my my um, food that I may not cook on YouTube or just you know the business page. Go follow Soul Hearts business page. It is the same way I just said it at Soul Hearts at Soul Hearts on Facebook, Hearts of Soul on Instagram. All right, we got them all prepped and ready. All right, guys, now, since we've already prepped it, what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need a pot, of course. And I like to use this seasoning, you know, my favorite, the Cajun seasoning. And also, I'm gonna try the Prima Donna's seafood seasoning. So that's what I'm gonna try. I never used it before. I just got it like yesterday. So we're gonna try it now. So the first thing you're gonna do is fill it up with water. Fill your pan up with water. All right, you're gonna do it about halfway. Then we're gonna go put it on the stove. But before that, you're, the main thing about cooking crab legs lobster tails or anything you're seasoning that water guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little now add a little seasoning that seasoning is important trust me it's very important so I season my water and I'm gonna go put it on the stove Alright guys, it's steak time, it's steak time, it's steak time. So now, before you put that steak in, you want that pan to be hot. So I like to put it on a, at least a high heat for right now. And you're going to turn that stove on because you're going to need the stove. I've turned the stove on about 350, okay? Now, now we're going to let that pan heat up. Let that pan heat up. So in the meantime, what you need is you're going to need some butter, a half a stick of butter, we're gonna need some oregano. I'm gonna need some rosemary, but I ran out of rosemary, but that's okay, cause the Greek seasoning is gonna be way more than enough seasoning, fresh herbs and fresh, fresh spices that I can need. But right now, usually you'll need a stick of butter, rosemary and oregano, and you'll need some onions. Now, and you're gonna also need my favorite. So this is what you'll need, guys for steak time. Like I said, while that pan is heating up, you want to get your stuff ready. So, so now the pan should be hot. Look at that steak. You hear that? You, got, you need to hear that, okay guys? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna let the steak get brown on both sides. So we're gonna let it sit for like two to three, two to three minutes. Let it get, let it get um, brown. But usually, if the, the pan is hot enough, it's not going to take long at all for it to get brown. Now, how do you guys like your steaks cooked? I like mine to be medium well, but if I don't have my thermometer, sometimes it'd be um, well done. 
but we're gonna get it together this time for you guys and I'm gonna do it medium well all right that side is brown see how it's brown guys flip it over all right both of the sides should be yep you see it's brown so now it's time to add that butter now I like to make sure the butter's on both sides even though it's gonna melt in in the in the pan I like that butter to be on both sides now let's flip it while that butter is melting with that steak so now you see that butter is melted I like to flip it again we're gonna add the oregano all right we add the oregano now we're gonna add those onions Now, I like to pick the oregano up and put it on top of that steak. Make sure those flavors are on the steak. Once you got all the stuff in, I flip it again. Now, that was my last time flipping it. Take that oregano, get it some flavor on there. Now, when it's like this, that means it's ready to go in the oven. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to put the whole entire pan. Yes, the pan, it can go in the oven. It's going to be perfectly fine, I promise. So you're going to put it. Put this in the oven. Now it's time for the potato test. Now listen. You see how it's kind of a struggle to go through? We're not done, they're halfway done. So now, steak time. All right guys, now while we're waiting on everything to boil, you're waiting on your water to boil for your crab, your lobster tails, you're waiting on your steak to finish, now your potato should be done. Now let me show you. You should be able to stick a fork or something right, right into it like that so we're gonna make these homemade to make the potatoes you're gonna need your your pepper your salt butter milk or heavy whipping cream and your ranch dressing i promise you guys i promise you guys your ranch dressing you probably never tried it but i'm telling you try it today try it right now with me and i promise you guys won't be sorry so now Put in the butter about this much sometimes you may need more salt i'll put a little bit more and we're gonna put the ranch a little milk because the ranch is already a lot of creamy texture pepper salt now let's mix all right guys i did it again i deleted the part where i showed you guys how to make the lobster now the lobster is really simple i swear that's why i'm really upset that i didn't record it but um, what what you do is, um, you saw me earlier in the video, you saw me season the water. So you let it boil, you let the water boil, and then you put the lobster in. The lobster only takes at least two to three minutes to cook. Two to three minutes. How you know the color will change. The color will change. The color is going to turn like a bright orange color. That means it's done. So you want to make sure both sides are cooked on the, both sides are cooked and they're both the bright orange color you'll see it in the on the done video but i just wanted you to see to let you know exactly how to cook it thanks and i'm so sorry that i didn't record i don't know what i'll be doing sometimes but thanks for watching